What's going on, you? What's going on, YouTube? Deluxe here with another tutorial for your ass. Okay, as you see, I got the door panel, the cutlass door panel. The lights up and everything. I got the shadow lit up under there and up under there. Now, the only thing I don't have on this door is the door handle or armrest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an armrest. And I'm going to show you how I will make an armrest for this. So basically, the factory armrest usually covers this up. And it goes on after. So you know you have to put this handle on after the door panel goes on. So this handle has to go on. So I'm going to make this handle fit like that at an angle. And we have to make an armrest somewhere right here. Because all behind this door panel, all right here till about right here, is nothing but metal. So you can screw right through here, right into the metal right there, and you be safe, and you can have your armrest. So what I'm going to do is, I came up with an armrest. I basically came up with a design like this. This is what I want. So, what I got this made is, this cutout right there fits over on top of that. So, I want you to go like this. That'll be the the first layer of the armrest. So I want it to come all the way down to about right here and have a place that I can put two screws under there that you won't even see it. It'd be up under there, up under the armrest. So I know that this is a half inch, fits like that, and I want it to go down to right there. So what I do is I stack them. Cut another one just like it. And I'll stack them up. So I have two of them cut right here. So basically like that. So as you see, it's hard to do it with one hand. You see, that's two. So you see, I probably can put two more under there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bottom one. I'm going to cut two more like that. So that will give me a, 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 a total of four. So once I cut four of these out, one like this, one like the top one, and three like the bottom one, it should be thick enough to go right on there. And I glue them all together. And then I can go on with a file or go in with a, a disc sander or go in with the saw and shape it the way I want to shape it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the router. I'm going to make three more of these. So, this is a scrap. I make all this shit with scrap pieces I have. This is scrap. So, I'm going to router. I'm going to make three more of these. And I'm going to cut it back on. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, what I have here is three pieces for each door handle. As you can see, three pieces. The top, the middle, the bottom. The top, the middle, the bottom. So I'm going to glue them together. I sprayed some glue on there, as you can see. I'm going to glue these together. And then I'm going to air nail them together so it won't come apart. So watch and learn. Okay, now you see I got the handle made. It's three layers. Cut the groove out. Now I gotta cut this section out right here. So when you got it on the car, you can have some way to put your fingers at so you can grab it. So I'm gonna cut that out. But as you see, in this little edge, I gotta sand that little edge down. See it? But otherwise it's rounded, as you can tell. So I'm gonna sand it. I'm gonna cut this out right here. And make it so you can put your fingers down in there. And I'll show you how it looks on the car right now. Okay, so here's the door. So the handle I'm making fits right over this groove right here. And goes just like that. So now I have to cut that out right here. So you better put your fingers in there and pull it. But... It's going to fit on there just like that. And once I wrap it in the red color, it's going to be dope. Stay tuned. I'm going to cut this out.
Hey, I made my cuts. As you can see, I'm a jigsaw ninja. You see that cut? You see how that cut is? So check it out now. So now it fits on there like that. And you got the groove down in there. And you can put your hand in there like that and pull it. And now you got a dough handle player. That's how you handle your biz. Get it? You handle your business. But check it out. I'm about to go get these. Go to Home Depot and get these uh these brackets I need to go on the bottom. Down there to hold it on. And then I'm gonna come back. But I might take you on this ride with me. Check it out. We out of here. So you guys know where we at. We in paradise. This is what dreams are made of. Or made from. Come to Home Depot and I find everything I need. You got the pre-cut. You can take one of these and one of these and I can turn that into a thousand dollars. Easy. But I, that's too much game. I can't give y'all all that game. You feel me? But I'm about to go and find these pieces that I need. What I need is a bracket. So I can bolt this down the armrest. I could use something like that. Oh, uh, I just need like a kind of like an L bracket. So I'm gonna find something. See, so I could use something like that too. So what I need is something that's gonna go behind this. So. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, you got to go like this. So, if I did something like this. Nope, that ain't right. Nah, let me, let me put this down so I can get back at you. Hold on one second, guys. That didn't work out, so we had to switch. So what I need to find is, see, all the brackets that you need is right here so what I need to find is something that's small and flat so I could use something like this uh, let's see they got a single one out that I can take out the pack we're gonna make this work we're gonna make this work so I probably just need a small small one like this one inch L bracket. So I'm open up one of these packs and then I'm gonna see what the, what's going on. So stay tuned. Hold on one second. Okay, this is what I'm gonna end up going with a one inch corner brace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pound it flat so it's flat. Take it. I'm gonna put it on there like that. Screw it in, and the other flat part will be sticking out a half inch, and that's gonna be the part I mount with. So we're gonna try this, and we're gonna see what happens. But I'll get right back when I get back to the shop because Home Depot got everything, and I might end up buying some stuff I don't need. So, we're gonna see y'all when I get back to the shop. All right, fellas, or girls, women, whatever you wanna call yourself. This is what I did. I took that one inch L bracket, or corner brace, whatever it is, and I pounded it flat, like that. It was kinda too long across the edges right here, so I took the, the snips and I cut off about, I don't know, an eighth, two eighths of an inch off, off of that and I mounted it like that I pre-drill holes so this stuff won't split so I pre-drill holes and I put wood screws in there so that holds it to the like that so now I'm going to attach this to the door and as you can see you got two mounting spots that you can drill right through the door panel into the middle of the door that will pull this tight on the door 
but I also I'm going to come in from the other side of the door panel and I'm going to come in through here too from this side with screws so this door this door handle will already be attached to the door panel but to make it more stronger we're going to come in from the bottom right here and drill straight into the metal of the door through the door panel so that will give it a strong base so that you can pull he can slam and whatever it takes so I'm going to do that but first before I even do all that I'm about to wrap these handles because I'm not going to keep taking this door panel off it got wires in it and it takes too long so I'm going to wrap both of these panels I mean both of these are uh, armrests I'm going to screw them on then we're going to get back on it when I drill through it to go into the door and we see the finished product so stay tuned for that piece okay so I sewed up a little cover I got the glue on I got it glued to the, the door handle as you can see two-toned it because I'm working with scraps what's, re what's left of this gold color and I got a lot of this red so you can see the brushed so as I finish wrapping it it looks like this you see and there's the brackets at the bottom down there that the screws go through the other screws come through this side I'm gonna trim it up heat the edges so I know it won't come loose and then I'm gonna test fit it in the car I think this is the passenger side so I'm gonna test fit it once I get the other one done so you see it's coming all right there you go. That's how it looks when it's mounted on the door. Fits on there perfect. Two tone. And the mounting brackets are up under there. You can see the two mounting brackets right down there. Two screws go through there. It's at the bottom. It looks good. So we're going to try to mount this. I'm going to screw to the door panel first. I'm going to take the door panel off. I'm going to come through the other side and screw it into the door panel. Then I'm going to come back with some longer screws and screw it straight into the metal. And then I'll be done with this door and then it's out of here. So, Pete, hold on one second because I can't do it with one hand. Alright, so I got one on mounted. As you can see, it's on there. Everything's on there tight. Tight. Fix the door. Everything's good. The power wire. Everything's in there. It still lights up. So there you go. My version of a deluxe style on the fly door panel and armrest. This concludes our chapter of these nuts. I'm out. I holla. <laughs>